Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about how to find an equation of the plane that's containing all three intercepts, the x-intercept, y-intercept, and z-intercept, okay? And so the whole situation looks like this. So we just draw the x, y, z space right now. Okay, so what happens? Okay, so this is a z, this is the x, this is the y, right? And then now if um, we label this point A in red, then we have a point right here. And then uh, we can label this point B in green. So we have the other point on the y-axis. Um, also the Z, right? So we have the Z label it in yellow so that we have this point right here. So we have the ABC, right? As you can see, this is really just for demonstration. You know that um, because A lowercase A, lowercase B and lowercase C are non-zero real numbers. So in this case, they can actually be negative numbers. So that means we will be plotting them in the either the negative X axis or the negative Y axis or the negative Z axis. But just to keep things simple for the demonstration, then I'm just going to plot them all on the positive uh, X, Y, and Z axis, right? Okay, so we have those three points. And then so you know that if those three points are not collinear, then what happens is that you can form a triangle with those, right? So we can just make a triangle by connecting those three points with line segments. And so what we are trying to do right now is to find the plane, okay, that contains this triangle. So that's what we are trying to find here. So what happens is that we want to find a plane that is containing this triangle that we have. Yeah, it looks a little bit off, but then I think that should be like parallel, right? Like this. That okay and so how do we do that um so just like usual in general we just need um the normal vector and a point that lies in the plane so we already have a point actually we have three points so we now just need to figure out the normal vector that lies that's perpendicular to the plane and how do we do that that can be found by doing the cross product of two vectors that lies in the plane and then you may say how do we get two vectors that lie in the plane we can form two vectors by using um, any of those two points, right? So let's do that. We can actually use AB and form one vector, okay? So we can form a vector by writing AB. And so what happens is that we are going to just use the coordinates of B subtracting the coordinates of A, then we can form the vector for AB. So we take the zero minus A, so we get negative A. Okay, and then B minus zero, so you just get B. And then you get uh, zero minus zero, which is just zero. So you just get you just get this, that okay? And then we also need another vector, right? So we can actually use uh, AC. I mean, we can actually use the vector AC, which is this one. So uh, we use the coordinates of C subtracting the coordinates of A. So zero minus A, we get negative A also and then zero and then C. Is that okay? So basically now we have the two vectors. And so those two vectors, they lie in the plane, right? As you can see here. So AB is this vector, right? So AB is this one. So this is vector AB. And then what about the other one? The other one is vector AC. So you get the vector AC. And so they line the plane, we can take their cross product and then we can find the, uh, the vector normal to the plane. So if we take the cross product, that's N and then that's equal to AB cross AC. That okay, so now what do we get here? Um, we can simply just put like, here's the easy way to to get it because I already lined them up this way. So you can just treat that as a three by three determinant. Okay, so basically you cross out the first row, cross out the first column, and then you are gonna get the first component by computing this two by two determinant, which is B times C. So you just get BC, okay? You just get the BC right here for the first component. 
because you get BC minus zero times zero, which is just BC minus zero. So you get the BC. And so now for the middle component, we have negative A times C. So we get, now don't forget that there was an extra minus sign in front. So we get um, negative AC and then minus negative A times zero. So minus zero. Is that okay? And then um, last one, last one, it would just be crossing out the first row, crossing out the third column. Then we are going to get negative A times zero, which is zero, and then minus negative A times B, right? So we get we get zero minus negative A times B. So we get this normal vector, which is actually just, if we simplify, we get BC, and then we get AC, and then we get AB. You can see that those minus signs will cancel out, right? Those two minus signs and also those two minus signs. So that's why we just get AC here and AB here. Okay, so uh, we already have a point. We can use point A to do it. And then you, we also have the normal vector. So now we can actually start writing down the equation. So we have, um, this is the first component, the X component for the normal vector. So we put it down first. We get BC times what? X minus. Now X minus what? The X coordinate of the point A. So we get just get the A right here. Okay. And then plus now AC, right? And this is the Y component for the normal vector. And then times Y minus our point, our Y value of the point. So we get zero and then plus AB, which is the Z component of the normal vector, and then times Z minus the Z value of the point. All right, so Z minus zero, and then you get zero right here. Okay, now we can, basically we have the equation for this plane, right? But we can simplify it so that we are going to get um, distribute. So we get BCX minus, uh, ABC, right? So A times BC is ABC and then plus ACY and then plus AB times Z equals zero. Okay, so we have this. Now, there was an X here, there was a Y here, there was a Z here, right? So the only term that having all constants would be ABC. So you can just move this term to the, to the right-hand side of the equation. So we are getting um, BCX plus ACY and then plus ABC is equal to now the constant term, which is ABC. And in fact, if we, if we just label, actually, if we highlight the variables, then you can see that that's actually a typical plane equation that we have. So if I just highlight the X, Y, C right here, Okay, so for example, if I just highlight them, then you can see that the BC right here is just the coefficient of X, the AC here is the coefficient of Y, and then the AB here is just the coefficient of Z. And then the ABC are, are, are all constant. So when they multiply together, when you multiply them together, you are still gonna get a constant. And if you want, because since ABC are non-zero, so we can divide everything by ABC here to turn the right-hand side into a one. And then in that case, we are going to get an equation that looks like this. We can get an equation that's look, that looks different. So we are just going to get X over A. Okay, if you divide everything by ABC, the BC will get canceled. So you are left with the A at the bottom. And then plus, and then the Y. over the B and then plus the Z over the C equals one. So that's another way that you can write this equation. Is that okay, so that's it for this problem. To help make math learning available to everyone, please share my videos to others and subscribe to my channel. It will give me support to make more videos. I wanna to work together with you to help students and children learn math more easily. Thank you for watching.